Hello, Ryan here, aka Mac, and welcome. We have another PTU patch released. It's only a small update, but it does bring some important fixes, so let us take a look. We also have an RSI Mantis standalone ship to give away, courtesy of one of my channel members, The Doctor. All you have to do is be subscribed and comment with what you're excited for about Star Citizen. So testing focus is still the same. It is general gameplay, moving around all over the verse, so spreading our wings. Some feature updates for this build is on ships. They have added all the Reliant variants to the New Deal ship shop and Arena Commander. And for weapons, they have added the Hornet Ball Turret, Flash Fire Mount and Nose Turret to PU shops and Arena Commander REC rentals. Very happy they are starting to get more of these ships and items into the verse shops rather than having to pay real cash for them as such. So happy to see that coming along. Now for bug fixes. Only a few, but hangar doors should now consistently open when you're requesting a landing pad. This is a massive win for pretty much everybody. Delivery mission boxes should no longer spawn within the ground. Again, very important to get that fixed up. I'm hoping that the reason why we don't have any other delivery missions other than these multi-stage delivery missions is because they are wanting to just tune them a bit further and uh, eradicate any bugs that could be part of them. Hopefully, once this one's sort of done, they can then unlock all the other delivery missions because I do miss them. And the final bug fix for this patch is the Freelancer series should no longer spawn with a damaged thruster. That was annoying many people. It wasn't damaged, I don't think, physically, but it looked it. So that's been cleaned up. There's also been two client crash fixes and three server crash fixes. They are slowly but surely crunching through these known issues, which is great to see all this progress. Talking of known issues, there are still 14 remaining. Nothing new though, they are still the original issues. It was 15 on the last patch, I think including that hangar door issue. They did mention that they have disabled private AC matches or arena commander matches until they can fix the issue with the updated group system. So the previous 3.10.1B build was actually in a good state and I had a lot of fun running combat missions on stream uh, when I could find some local to my location. And aside from the desync, it was very fun and very challenging. I did, however, have three 30Ks in at the space of about three and a half hours, which I would say wouldn't be great for live, but luckily I wasn't running cargo or mining, otherwise it would have been a lot worse. There is still a massive lack of missions, and most of them that do pop up expect you to jump 50 odd million kilometers, 30 million kilometers to a completely different area of space that you're at, which isn't great. And I think they have mentioned about adding some logic before where it will put it more in your vicinity. I hope that they can maybe toggle that up a bit stronger, but there is still fun to be had, but just not as much as 3.9 uh, mission wise, I feel. But anyway, as usual, do let me know what your experience of 3.10.1c is, and I will be jumping in and checking this out on stream today after we watch Star Citizen Live. So if you fancy hanging out with me and my amazing community, do head over to twitch.tv forward slash Ryan. The link is in the description below. Everybody is welcome. But with that said, make sure you subscribe here on YouTube if you want to keep up with all of Star Citizen's news and be in with a chance to win that Mantis. Tick that notification bell if you want to be notified when my videos go live. And if you don't mind, hit the like button. Really helps the channel out. Thank you again to my patrons and channel members. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.